Defeat doesn't finish a man. Quit does. A man is not finished when he is defeated. He is finished when he quits. A quote from President Nixon himself. America in the mid 20th century encountered countless trials, including the Vietnam War in the Eastern Hemisphere. As a war away from home was just ending, a new one was brewing on the home front that would forever change the public view of the government. Watergate scandal. The Watergate scandal resulted in the loss of citizen faith towards their political superiors, mass media exposing government blunders, and political reform within the government itself in the hopes of regaining political credibility with the citizens. So, who was involved in the burglary? Well, on June 17, 1972, five men, Virgio Gonzalez, Bernard Barker, James McCord, Eugenio Martinez and Frank Sturgis all broke into the Na Democratic National Committee office. These five men were charged with attempted burglary and attempted interception of telephone and other communications from the office. So what were the motivating factors behind this whole risky move? No one really knows the initial motive of the Watergate break-in. Uh, many people believe that the event occurred because the Republican Party See, wanted to gain an edge on the Democrats in the political run and that they wanted to sabotage the Democratic Party. So, what was Nixon's role in this whole scandal? Well, you see, Nixon was believed to be the conductor in this whole scheme. Nixon and his fellow White House staff members were devising a way in order to gain edge on the Democrats such that Creep, the committee to re-elect the president, would be able to succeed and Nixon will be able to serve for a second term. Um, what did he contribute to this whole scandal? Nixon contributed in probably what most people would say in an indirect way. He obviously tried to make the burglaries and all the other events that linked back to Watergate as discreet as he could so that the president could not be blamed for it. It was actually the men hired by Nixon's staff, you see, that played a vital role in this whole scandal. Nixon himself was just hoping for the best, that everything worked out while he himself tried to keep out of it. But he was believed to have funded the burglars with sufficient amounts of money in order to keep their work quiet and eventually turn into a form of bribery. The Watergate scandal was unheard of at first until the Washington Post actually started to investigate. Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein played such a vital role in the unveiling of this whole scheme, until up to this point, the people loved their presidents. Take for instance, JFK, Teddy Roosevelt, Eisenhower, FDR, etc. It wasn't until up to that point in time when the Watergate scandal took over America and created this mistrust that we still see today towards the government. Deep Throat played an important role in the whole Watergate scandal. He was the only link that the Washington Post reporters, Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, 
had that allowed them to accurately report on the scandal. The FBI and CIA tried to withhold information from the public at the time, and the only way that the public was revealed to be Deputy Director FBI Agent Mark Felt. The events of the Watergate scandal were seen as minuscule to the public at first, until two daring reporters from the Washington Post by the names of Bob Woodward and Carl Burstein start to slowly piece information together about the Watergate break -in. Once America was exposed to this massive controversy, a media revolution exploded that shattered America's faith in its own government. The media revealed the flaws of the government that all Americans saw, which inevitably resulted in a media-dominated society. The media played a vital role in the Watergate scandal because before the media came into the scene, Nobody knew exactly what was going on. The media started to investigate and put out reports on the scandal. People started to become aware of the events that were present during the times. During this time period, people started to have mixed feelings about the government. This new trust in the media affected the government greatly because the citizens started to lose faith in the government. Thus, fears came up that the people would lose complete connection towards the government. When I came to America, I expected to have a happy life and to be the best that I could be. Then I heard about President Nixon's dilemma. I wouldn't expect the government to lie to its own people like this. I thought America was a society where people could trust their own leaders. My view of America became tainted by this event. Coming from Burma, I would expect this from our own government, but not from such a dominant power. Once people said that Nixon was involved in this scandal, I too lost my faith in the government. The Watergate scandal proved to be a huge turning point in American politics and society. American citizens at this point had built up anger which provoked questions about President Nixon's motives and affairs in the scandal. The pressure that was felt by the Nixon administration was enough to force the president to resign which would create long-lasting suspicions about politics. The scandal exposed its significance in other ways that shifted the political momentum and tide in favor of the Democratic Party at this time. The Watergate scandal became the new source of criticism and target for the Democrats. It seemed as if the leader of the Republican Party, President Nixon, had revealed their Achilles heel to the public view. Nixon avoided going through the impeachment trial in efforts to save the nation from any further trouble and to own up to his mistakes and peacefully step down from office. Many saw this as a humbling action by taking full responsibility for the scandal, as Nixon would later resign from presidency. The Watergate scandal impacted America in a way that would change the social expectations of politics. Prior to the scandal, Americans saw the government as a higher authority which portrayed a corrupt free image. However, this was proven false by a new contender of the government, the media. The media embellished the truth about the Watergate scandal which would fuel public outrage towards the government. This event not only scarred American society, but boosted the Democrats' electoral votes later on. The Democrats would use this as political ammunition against the Republican Party for its own benefits in hopes of gaining an edge on their opponents. These rapid chain of events proved to be one of the most unforgettable chasms that stood in the way of the executive branch, rendering public opinion throughout the nation.